Hey, Avery, how you doing? Good. Um, I guess just sort of, for starters, we're, you're obviously one of the leaders on this team. Where do you feel like sort of the pulse of everything is right now, coming off two straight losses, trying to avoid a third in a big rivalry game against Florida? Yeah, you know, I think, I think we're going in, in the right direction. You know, I think it's important to, you know, consider the past as a – place of reference not a place of residence you know you can't we can't just look back in the past and be like hey like this is this happened this happened this happened this happened we got to move forward and that's what we're doing today that's what we did yesterday and that's what we'll keep doing the rest of the week yeah i mean it's kind of last time y'all had two three losses was last year going into mm -hmm. the Florida game similarly in a way like this and a lot of, down a lot of players is there something that you can draw on from that experience last season even though that game was pretty wacky yeah, you know, um, that was a crazy game, but, you know, they're coming to our stadium and we got to protect our house. Um, and, you know, it's a big rivalry. Um, it always has been since I've been here. It's been a close game. Um, you know, uh, what happened last year, if it happens again this year, we'll be ready for it. Uh, I think someone's talking, but I can't hear him right. very well. Scott? Hey, Avery, this is Scott Rabelais from The Advocate. You, you were holding on the field goal last year, right, the, the, in Florida? That was Zach. That was Zach. Oh, that was Zach. Okay. Uh, but can you, can you remember that, that sequence? I mean, being a kicker, I'm sure you're relating to uh, you know, what both kickers went through at the end of that game, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean uh, Gabe makes a great kick, and their guy, they thought they made I think a lot of their fans thought they made it. They couldn't see because of the fog. Because, yeah. Talk about you relating to what both guys were going through at the end of that game last year? Yeah, you know, when when we sent Kate out there, it was kind of no question he was going to make it. You know, we've seen him practice um, every single day, and, you know, he's he's hitting from 70 yards, you know, in warm-up. So it's it's stuff like, you know, we knew he was going to make it. Um, you know, when it came down to it, he was ready for the moment. Um, and then, you know, their kicker, Evan, got a shot. You know, Evan's a good friend of all of ours. Um, and, you know, it didn't go his way, but – um, you know, if it, like I said, if it comes down to special teams again, we'll be ready for it. Hey, Avery Shaw from Channel 9. Uh, Tyron a while ago was talking about when Florida came here in 2019. Yeah. He said he had never seen anything like that in terms of the atmosphere in the crowd. And I think everyone kind of thought it was a perfect 10 <laughs> that night. What, what do you remember about that night? That was, that was, you know, when you think Tiger Stadium, that was one of those nights. Um, it was loud. You know, I think – um, I tell a lot of people, like, you know, when I was kicking off to start the game, you know, the ball was, like, vibrating on the tee because Tiger Stadium was so loud. So it's, it's stuff like that that makes Tiger Stadium great. And, you know, um, we know we're playing in the morning, but, you know, we expect a loud crowd again. Do you remember after the bomb from Burrow to Chase, you guys were kicking off and the kickoff team was kind of swaying back and forth yeah. and the whole stadium was kind of swaying and shaking, it seemed like? Yeah, no, that again, that's just that's that's what makes Tiger Stadium great. That's what makes LSU great. You know, the fans are amazing. Um, you know, that's that's you know, that's just LSU. That's that's what we expect. Avery, you know, halfway through the year here, it's also halfway through Max's kind of first full season as a starter. Just from your perspective, is there any ways that you've sort of seen him you know, growing in that role over the last six games? Yeah, you know, Max has done a great job, um, in my opinion. You know, being a specialist, you get the unique opportunity to kind of see from the see from the balcony. You get to see uh, the offense and defense do their thing from the, you know from the sideline a lot of times. And you know, Max is just he's grown so much as a player, but more as a person. Um, you know, he's a leader on this team, and you know that says a lot of his character and stuff. You know, I know he's got a lot going on, but he's he's doing a really good job with it all. Was there like a, maybe a moment where you really saw that leadership coming to the forefront or something like that? Yeah, it's just, you know, the off season, you know, him and him and Miles were competing and, you know, you know, unfortunately Miles got injured and Max right then and there stepped up and was like, We got this, like I, I got this team, I'm gonna take over and, and he's done a great job so far. Thank you. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Um, so you know, I've always kind of thought punters are in a bit of a weird position because, you know, maybe your best game on the season is also probably the worst game for the team as a whole. Um, so is it ever maybe difficult, per se, to kind of take pride in your performance when the team isn't performing well as a whole? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, winning is what matters. You know, 
when we start looking at individual statistics, that's when we, you know, lose altogether. Um, you know, you never hear Joe Burrow talk about winning the Heisman. All you hear, talk, all, all you heard him talk about was winning a championship. So, you know, when you look at individual statistics, that was my best game, but we didn't win. So, in my opinion, it, it doesn't matter. Hey, Avery, Leah Van from The Advocate. You talked about the atmosphere at Tiger Stadium. Obviously, this Saturday you've got an 11 a.m. kickoff, 3-3 three and three record. Um, what is your message to fans to kind of get them to come out and still provide that atmosphere for this team? Yeah, you know, we need them. We need them, you know. Tiger Stadium is known for, you know, as Coach O says, where dreams come to die. And, you know, Florida's coming in here pretty confident and, you know, um, using Tiger Stadium to our advantage, bringing the fans with us, you know, we're going to, we got a show from on Saturday.